Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Mr. Kozlik here, and I am back today with episode number four of Kitchen Table Magic. I know it's been a while, you guys. I'm sorry. I've had a lot of stuff going on. I'm getting ready to move. Um, I've had a job change, and yeah, I had my computer fried. Uh, I don't know if you knew about that, uh, but yeah, my computer fried. So basically, I'm just using my iPod now to upload videos for you guys, but Anyway, aside from that, let's go ahead and get to uh, this week's deck. Um, this is going to be White Weenies. Obviously, it's a budget White Weenies. Uh, nothing, no rares in here. Nothing higher than uncommon. All basic lands. Um, the land base is right here, laid out in front of you. Basically, it's nothing special. Twenty planes. Um, but yeah, let's get those out of the way so we can get to the creatures and everything. It's basically. This is a, an aggro build, as most white weenies are. This is a, an aggro build with uh, quite a few creatures and basically just removal and evasion. That's basically it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. Um, the creatures, sorry about the glare. We have four elite vanguards that we're running. Uh, elite vanguard's awesome. It's just uh, one mana, one white mana for a 2-1. Uh, nothing special, just a real vanilla creature, but it's awesome. Two power for one mana is, is pretty good um, for a one drop. Um, and then that's the only one drop. And then we have for two drops, we have um, four Squadron Hawks. Everybody knows what Squadron Hawk is. I mean, it's been a, a, it was a staple in Standard when it was in Standard, but um, it's one colorless and one white for a 1-1 one, one flying bird uh, whenever it enters the battlefield. You may search your library for up to three cards named Squadron Hawk, reveal them, put them in your hand, and shuffle your library. It's basically card advantage. Um, card advantage is always good. Thins, helps thin your deck out, lets you shuffle. You don't have to search for all of them. You can just search for one or two of them here and there. Uh, I dig it. It helps you basically just thin your deck and shuffle. Um, gives you card advantage. Um, the next thing is a, it's a 2-2 flyer for two, Leon and Sky Hunter. Just a vanilla 2-2 flyer for two mana. Um, the, the two mana slot is really, really crowded here, but I, I mean, it's very aggro. The top end, there's not a whole lot of top end. Um, you're wanting to get there quick, so. Um, we also have four, a quarter paladin, three, one, for two, with battle cry. Uh, obviously battle cry whenever this creature attacks. Uh, each other attacking creature gets plus one, plus oh until end of turn. So that's awesome. I mean, if you're attacking with... Two or three elite vanguards and this puppy. I mean, you're attacking in for quite a bit of damage. Um, that's basically what you're wanting with your white weenie deck is to get there quick with a lot of damage and just smoke them fast. Um, a lot of people don't use this card very much, I don't think, but I, I really like it. It's uh, for two mana, it's a 2 2 with Intimidate, um, which is just as good, if not as good, or if not better than flying, in my opinion. I mean, it can only be blocked by white or artifact creatures, so that's why I included it. I really dig it. And there's four of those. And then here, this is for uh, kind of a draw engine. And there's just two of them because it's a defender, and we're really trying to focus more on attacking than defending. Um, but it's Wall of Omens. Two mana, 04 defender. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just two of them in there um, to help with card draw, card advantage. Um, thin the deck, what have you. Anyway, let's get all this out of the way here so we can get on to the other spells. Come to daddy. Alright, we'll get those out of the way. And here we go for removal. Uh, I think there's four of these in here. Condemn, it's an instant. Cost one. Put target attacking creature on the bottom of its owner's library its controller gains life equal to its toughness so uh, pretty self-explanatory you get a big guy coming at you boom just condemn it bottom of the library the life gain is not going to be real relevant because we're going to have so much damage coming at their face pretty much every turn that um, they can gain some life here and there and it's not really going to matter much um, here's some evasion uh, brave the elements cost one uh, choose a color, white creature you control, gain protection from the chosen color until end of turn. So if they're playing mono black, mono red, mono green, mono blue, mono white even. Um, 
or if the majority of their creatures are a certain color, boom, brave the elements, one mana, uh, all your creatures are going to get through unblocked, or if they're trying to destroy some of your creatures, um, brave the elements is awesome to help save your creatures. Um, this is a kind of a protection, kind of a fog-based ability. This is a safe passage, uh, two colorless, one white, uh, prevent all damage that would be dealt to you and creatures you control this turn. So the, the cool thing that I like about Safe Passage is, um, and you guys already know this, but basically if you swing in and they block, if they, you know, all out, you all out swing, they all out block, play Safe Passage, you'll kill off most of their creatures and all of yours will be safe. So that's one thing I really like about it. Also, if they all out attack you thinking you're just going to block or if you're tapped out, play Safe Passage, you're good to swing back on him next turn. Um, there are four of those in here because I think it's a really good card. Um, this is a removal, pacifism. There's two pacifisms in here. Um, probably could get rid of one of the safe passages to add another pacifism. Um, it really depends on if you're playing more of an aggro or a control deck. Um, pacifism is fantastic. Removal for white. It's just one colorless and one white, and a, t a target creature can't attack or block. So. If they've got something that's pesky and you don't like it, hit it with a pacifism and you're good to go. O-Ring, basically same deal. Um, except for this actually exiles it until O-Ring leaves play. So as long as uh, you've got your O-Ring in play, you can exile. I think it's, is this permanent? Yeah, so you can get rid of Planeswalkers with this too. Um, there's two of those in here. And this is the basic win condition. I mean, other than the fact that you're just going to be aggro beating their face, um, it's Armored Ascension, three colorless, one white, um, Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one for each planes you control and gains flying. There's 20 planes in the deck, so um, there's three of those in here. So if you can get, you know, on turn four, you could have a, you know, a six, five flying um, elite vanguard. So basically, it's just a, it's a real quick beater deck. Um, just let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments, uh, whether you like it, dislike it, thoughts, comments, concerns, post them down here, and I would love to talk to you guys, so, uh, let me know what you think, take it easy guys, peace.